In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to run all your traffic through Cloudflare so that it can filter out any bad traffic before it gets to your site and optimize your traffic for speed to make your site load faster. And we're getting started right now. Yo, hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish new tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's set up Cloudflare and start routing our traffic through it. I'll see you in the screen capture. The first thing we want to do before we implement anything that tries to improve our site speed is get a baseline of what our current site speed is. So over at GT Metrics, I'm going to type in my URL and I'm going to click on Analyze. And actually the idea of Cloudflare is, among other things, to improve your site speed. It's also good for security, but site speed is one of the big things they focus on. So Getting this baseline is going to be very important. I'm just going to fast forward this part so you don't have to sit around and wait for it to load. So here we have our data, our page speed score, not great. Why slow score, also not great. If this website was in school, it would be failing, at least in North America. In Europe, they use a different scale, probably other parts of the world too. I just don't know what they are. But either way, not good. Load time, 2.7 seconds, which is actually pretty good. Considering we got an E and a D, that's a good load time. Our total page size is one megabyte, request number 27. We're gonna keep these in mind, and after we install Cloudflare and initiate it, we're gonna come back to see if we actually have an improvement. Now we can head over to Cloudflare and create an account. All we do is click on sign up right here, and then all you do is enter your email address, you choose a password, you check this box, you click on create account. I already have an account, so it's just gonna say what it says down at the bottom, user already exists, but that is literally all you have to do, those three things. And then I'm just going to log into my account. And when I do, you're going to see what your page will look like as the next page. So there's my login info. Click on login. And after you create your account, you'll be taking this to this exact same page, which is the start of our Cloudflare process. There's four steps. Add a website. Add DNS records. Select a plan. Update name servers. So with step one, we add our domain name down here. We can add multiple. Just add a comma and then put your other domain names in here if you want. I just have one. I click on scan DNS records. This scan takes, as you can see, oops, audio's on. As you can see, the scan takes a fair amount of time. So I'm just gonna fast forward this to the end. When the clock reaches zero, the continue button goes from grayed out to green. We click on that button. And now we see our IP configuration, or our DNS configuration for this site. Here's a warning saying that some of our records are exposing our IP address, which is not good. Cloudflare helps us fight that. So we have an orange cloud for on Cloudflare, a gray cloud for off Cloudflare, and we can choose what to have on and off Cloudflare in this list. We have an orange cloud here, and here those are by default. And then all the ones that are gray, we can just click on them, and they will be routed through Cloudflare. Now the way this works is this, as you click on them right now, it's not actually updating anything. This is just the settings that will be in place when we change our name servers. And this box won't go away there, just, there we go. So these are the things that are gonna be in place when we change our name servers. When we change our name servers, all of our traffic is routed through Cloudflare. And that is when these DNS settings come into effect. So now I've chosen all of them to go through Cloudflare. I'm gonna click on continue. Now we choose a plan. Of course, they default to a paid plan which if you want one of those, feel free. Cloudflare is a great service, but not everybody can afford that. So I just want to show you the free plan. And to choose that, we just click on this radio box here. It shows you what you get. Then click on continue at the bottom. On the next page, we set our name servers. It's showing as this is our current name server. This is the one it should be, or these two. I'm just going to copy this one. My domain name is with GoDaddy, so I've logged into there. This is my list of all my domains. There's quite a few of them. I'm gonna find the one that we're working on, which is wpphd.com. I'm gonna open that. Your domain name registrar, if you have a different one, it might work differently, but you're gonna to wanna to find something called the DNS settings. So over here we have manage DNS in the GoDaddy account. I'm gonna click on that. In the DNS settings, the second record area down is called name servers. I'm gonna click on the change button to change those. Yours might be set to GoDaddy name servers. So you want to change this drop down from whatever it is to custom, then you can enter your own. I'm just going to paste in that one that we just copied. 
going to copy this one as well. And for some reason, this first one pasted a bunch of white space. I'm going to delete that and then click on save. Now our name servers are updated. It says here that some changes may require confirmation. I find that name server changes usually don't, but they might for you. So there might be an email in your email account waiting for you to confirm the change. If not, this will take 24 to 48 hours to take effect. So back in Cloudflare, we made those changes. We're going to click on continue. And now we get a message saying, status website not active, DNS modification pending, which is our name servers. I'm going to keep checking these by clicking recheck name servers. And when the name servers have updated, I'll continue on this video. It can take between 24 to 48 hours, they say, but usually it's 10 or 15 minutes. It usually doesn't take very long at all. But I will see you when the name server change has taken effect. So a few minutes later, our name servers are active. If you rewind this video a little bit, you'll see the timestamp up here. It's only been like one minute, maybe two minutes. So it went pretty fast. We have a green check mark, or sorry, a white check mark and a green background, which is usually the sign for A-OK. -okay. And it says this website is active on Cloudflare. So as of right now, all the traffic for this domain name is routed through the Cloudflare network, which means that Cloudflare will optimize that traffic for speed. It will filter out bad traffic because their network's quite large. They can tell if an IP address is trying to hack websites. They can tell if certain IP addresses are involved in a denial of service attack and they can filter those out. And they filter them out of all the traffic for all the websites on their network. So that's one of the powerful things of being part of Cloudflare. I'm just gonna head over as a very first step to our website to make sure it still loads. Because if it doesn't load, we've got a problem. So the website still loads, still looks the way it should, which is great. Now we can go through and play with some of the settings. Under analytics, there are no settings here, it's just analytics data. There's not much going on yet because we just added ourselves to Cloudflare. In the DNS, we can change those settings we changed on the way in. If you find that some of these are not working or somebody says you have to change this to whatever, you can come in here and do it. Crypto, this is the cryptography on your site, specifically SSL certificates and edge certificates and other ones. Some of these things are only for paid accounts. For example, this one, require modern TLS. Got to upgrade to a business plan to get that. Other ones are part of the free plan. Other ones are part of the pro plan. So it really depends on what your plan is. But I encourage you to go through each one of these to check what settings you can do. Some big ones are in the speed category. We can minify JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. Sometimes this kind of thing breaks a website. So if you find your website is broken, come in here and uncheck these or try checking off just JavaScript, seeing if that works, just CSS, seeing if that works. So one of these might break your site and sometimes none of them will. They'll just make your site faster. So you gotta play around a little bit with those. And we have the option down here to have accelerated mobile links, which you may have heard of as accelerated mobile pages or AMP, which have gotten a lot of press lately. Some people love them, other people hate them. One of the biggest drawbacks is that when Google uses these, the AMP page, your AMP page is loaded on the Google server. So the URL is google.com forward slash something instead of your domain forward slash something. So that's the biggest beef people have with AMP. However, Cloudflare, what they're trying to do is deliver that AMP speed, which is lightning fast, and getting that to load on your server instead of Google's. So I don't know if, because this is in beta, I don't know if this is actually working in that fashion, but that's their goal. Their goal is to load AMP pages lightning fast on your server, on your website, just as a regular page would load, just lightning fast. And this is part of the free account, which is pretty awesome. Others like right here, pro account, rocket loader, improve page load times, why not? Set that to automatic. And we're gonna see you don't have to actually save changes. These are all done by Ajax, so they're automatically saved for you. I made that update right there, so I'm just gonna go back and refresh this page to see if something broke. And it still seems to be working okay. And like I said, there's a lot of options up here. Go through each of them. See what you can set, see what you can't set. Familiarize yourself with what Cloudflare can do. There's a lot of stuff it can do to help your site. And what I'm gonna do now is retest the site to see if our stats have improved. So let's remember ED 2.7, one megabyte, 27. Retest. I'm going to fast forward again through this analysis part for you. So these stats are greatly improved 
We used to have an E here, now it's an A. We used to have a D, now it's a B. We were 2.7 before, now we're 2.3. Like I said, I encourage you to take multiple data points for the site load speed and then average them. So our 2.7 was just one data point, 2.3 is also just one. So when we have those averages, the difference might be more significant. So take multiple page load time data points and then average those. Our page size is down from one megabyte to 348 kilobytes, which is a third. Our requests are for down from 27 to 17. So all these stats have been improved just by setting up Cloudflare in under 10 minutes and for free. And the paid plan will give you even more options to make your site even faster, but you don't need it because you've, you've done pretty well here on the free plan. And for, for my site, it was loading a 2.7 without Cloudflare. So an increase to 2.3 is, is good. I mean, I can't expect a five second increase on a site that loads in less than five seconds. However, if you have one of those rare sites that loads in 20 seconds or 15 or 10 seconds, you can expect to see much more of a speed increase by routing your traffic through Cloudflare. So that's how easy it can be to set the free account on Cloudflare and start running your traffic through there. The paid accounts have a lot more options, a lot more bells and whistles. So if you find you need those, I encourage you to sign up with them because they're a great service. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that appear on the right hand side so you can learn even more about WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.